My name is Steven Annie, and in this video, we'll be learning something new in Blender. In this video, we'll be learning how to add textures and shaders to our models. Now, the idea of shaders and textures is how we're able to make this ash looking model to actually have the color, maybe black or maybe the color of a table wooden color or whatever color we want it to be now I'll start with the basics of shading all right so we'll have all call shaders that we use inside blender so if I select this here if you go down to this material panel so this way add materials now in the materials you have the new material and these materials will usually call them shaders if you look at here we we'll have shading this is where you actually be able to add your shaders Shaders are more like programs that enable you to give color and uh, make it metallic or look like glass or whatever you want to do. So basically, but then the idea of texture is that you want to add maybe the color of wood, the color of a wall, the color of maybe uh, the back of a leather bag. All right, those are the kind of the idea of texture. And we're going to do that much more in details later. So, but now let's start with the basic shaders. So when you select this, go over to this place and click on new. So sometimes when you have the basic cube, you will see this already there. So now we're going to name this. I'm going to click this and call it my, uh, let's call it the monitor body. So we're going to have a different part of it to the screen so we don't want them to have the same color so press enter key to accept this now to be able to appreciate what you are adding or whatever you're doing we are going to go into the viewport shading so the viewport uh, shading is what we have here now we'll have a render but we're not going to do this render yet because we don't have we don't want to put the lights yet so we just want to use this particular here particular uh, option here first so if you look at here you have the wall scene and some other things that you can change the color of whatever you are seeing here so we we'll just leave it at this for now so when you select this and go down so you have different things if you click on the surface here these are the shaders if you look at it, you have shaders here so we'll have the background shader the diffusion the emission if you want to make things to be shiny okay we're going to add some of these things very soon Know, make things uh, like glass okay so the one that we're going to use right now is called the principal shader so when you put the principal shader this is the basic shader we can be able to use so here forget about these ones for now you will notice the differences right now so what you should focus on is the base color here so if you click here you can be able to select any color you want your monitor to be so I want my monitor to have a sort of a uh, let's say black color so I'm gonna click and drag this down to this point so I have something like this um, I think I want to go down even more and control A and apply my skill I think I'm um, seeing some very funny things here so I think it's the environment so I'm just gonna leave it like that so I will select this part and I'm going to now I want to add a new material for the screen something that will be a bit shiny okay so I will click on the plus sign here and when I add the plus sign I will click on new and I will click inside here and type screen now when you when I added this particular first the first material here it, it gave the entire monitor the same material now forget about the color you're seeing here this is just the light if you actually click here and change the light you actually see that it changes everything this is just the, the light in the background so uh, very soon we'll be able to change it to look okay I think this is even better it reflects the black color so I will click on the screen and I will go to edit mode you can press your tab or you click here and change it now I'm gonna use my face select and select this face so you have this face or whatever part of the computer you want to of the object you want to actually change so whatever part of the object you want to change you can select it so i'll click on the screen and 
and click on assign so this is the technique for assigning multiple materials to a particular object so we just added one and then we can add different materials so we'll have two materials on this particular computer here so i'll quickly go down and still oh, turn it down a bit so but i want this thing to be a bit shiny okay so for me to be able to do that oh, i think this is too much i'm going to go down now if you turn on the metallic you see something happens here it becomes more metallic if you go down to um, the roughness this will make it more shiny all right so but you won't see the, the effect of this now until you go over here now what we are using currently is called ev render so if, let me click here and show you some rendering properties now we're not going to talk about rendering details but currently we're using ev so cycles will take more time to render things okay so if you go into cycles you actually see how it will look like but for now we'll be working with ev because ev is a real-time engine that enables us to model things and see how it will look like when we are by the you know when we are still working and by the time you're done it's already showing you what it will look like while you're still working so this is something that is very important with time i will explain to you what real time our modeling is really all about so we'll have the EV here now you have to turn on this turn on the bloom and go to screen space if you look at what happened here once you turn this on you see that the reflections and some other things comes up so you have this you can turn this to up here and it will show you more of the reflections so I'll go back now to the materials remember we're on screen and i'm gonna go down to roughness and if i take the roughness down to zero you actually see what's happening here so the screen is looking very much transparent right now so i think um, um, i would like to make this to be even darker so if you look at now um, okay that's that's quite okay i think i like this this way so now let's go to the mouse and add some things to it so i'm going to click on this mouse here and i'm going to add this and call it the wire so click inside there type wire and remember we haven't joined this we just parented them in the other video that we had so i'm going to come in here and take it down to black so if you look at what you're seeing now so i think uh, if you want it to be shiny if you don't want it to be shiny at all you just take it to one so one will make it not be shiny at all if you look at that but if you bring it down to zero it becomes shiny so that's the roughness so but we don't need to be shiny so we can just bring it up to this point so we're going to be talking about more details about all these things you know, but these are the major things you know i use most times when i do basic model materials so you just use the metallic and the roughness the other things you can be able to do so when we would start talking about textures adding textures like wood then we can talk about more of that so i'm going to click here and also add if you click here now maybe you already have an object you know that you have added a material to and you want to use the same material on this particular one you can simply just select it click here and then go in to the that's a wire so i will just select it and you see that it gives me two here now one other thing you can do is this imagine if we want to use that the same wire material on this particular one but we want the color for this particular one to be ash okay so what i will do instead of going to start from the beginning to just create the material here i can just simply select this click here and add a wire all right now watch what's happening right now it's making it black but we want the black to we want to turn into ash so i can simply go in here and if you look at we we'll have three here so this is how we can be able to use an existing material let's say you have added some settings to it and you just want to use exact thing and just change the color you can just come in once you add it from here you can come over here and click on three you can see one or two or three depending on how many times you use the material so we have used it two times already this is the third time we're using it and that's the reason why we we'll have this so we can click here and have the mouse now if you didn't do this what will happen is that the original wire that you have in the 
then if you are using this particular one here now let's go back to it and you are working on this one once you change the color here it will change it for all of them so you have to make sure that you are using the one that is this mouse after clicking the three all right so and rename it to a different object a different material sorry you rename it to a different material so that when i change this to something you know let's say ash it will not affect uh, the other one because we, we are using the same setting so i would like to make it uh, a bit shiny and increase if you look at now if i increase the metallic part of it you see what it starts looking like so it depends on the kind of look you're looking for so i think i'll go for something like this now some other thing here if you look at here we'll have the specularity so you won't observe the specularity here because we are not yet in um, in the rendered mode so but with this we can be able to actually work on very interesting things so i'm going to select this one here and i will add i will make this to be a white color so i'm just going to call this the wheel and make it white and i would like it to just be a bit shiny so i just want it to be looking um cool but i think that's too much so just bring it up to this point so now over here there are some effects that i actually want to put here i want to put some light effect here so i'm going to select this and press shift uh, sorry tab and go into this place so i want to have some kind of light effect in this particular place so i'm going to press uh, i'm going to subdivide because i have some lights on my own uh, monitor mouse here so i'm just going to move my mouse wheel for up and i'm going to create some submissions here and i think i have about five here one two three four five click it and click again all right so we'll have this so now see what i want to do i want to go back here and click on the plus sign and i can do this even in any mode and click on the new material because we're a new material now and i'm going to call this the mouse glow so we want to have some glowing part of the mouse okay so i'm going to just simply uh, use my face selection mode and select one two sorry i'm going to jump one one let's start from here one two three i think here we'll start from here one two and three okay we'll, we'll work with these three so select the mouse glow and assign if you look at that so we'll have um this here but i think uh, there is a little problem we are facing um our object is taking more than we need it to take so select here to all right so hold shift select here to and select this and apply it okay i think this is okay now so when you have problems like this let's see i'll uh, press n and let's try to use the link and see if we can solve it with it I think uh, maybe because of uh, the way our model is was created and see what is doing that now on a normal level that is not what we're looking for that's not the effect we're actually looking for because that uh, seems like uh, there is some problems on the needs so let's press e and click to accept so I just extruded it and that's how I was able to remove the, those artifacts. Remember, let me press Ctrl C again. So it's actually coming out here, meaning that, you know, it has, um, let me just take it back to zero. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's go back now. While selecting the, just press E to extrude and click to accept it. And it will actually uh, remove all those artifacts we actually have all around it. So I have this here now and I will just quickly go down here. Now I want here to be glowing. So I will quickly go back to the principle and I'm going to put a new thing here. And that will be emission. So emission is used for making things that will glow. So I'll click on this and I can increase this. And I want to click here and change it to a blue light. Something like this. Alright, so we'll have something that looks like that. So 
film um, that's basically this thing so if you want to make it more stylish you can select here let's select uh, this part Select here. I'm holding shift to select that. Hold shift and select all the, all, all the parts you want, the faces you want. Select this. You can assign to. So if you look at now, whenever it does this, just press E and, and click to accept. So it will just remove all those uh, extra uh, things that is coming up that you don't want. So you have something like this. Let's do. Uh, let's press Ctrl Z. Accept it. All right, so that's what we have right now. So let's see why this particular part is doing this. Press E on this one, and I think I'm gonna press E. Oh, sorry, that will not resolve the problem. I think we're gonna work with this. All right, so we'll have uh, something like this, and I'll quickly do the last thing here, and that will be to file save. I'll press Shift A and add a plane and scale it about less than 220 times or 22 times. Just type S22. Two. That's 222. Scale it up. So, what I think is actually too big, so I'm going to just scale it down a bit. And I'm going to use this to build a backdrop. R and drop this here. So I've created three loop cuts and I'm going to select these parts. Use my move, take this up. Uh -huh. Select this, take this up. So I would like to push this one back. So this is how we're going to, we're going to build a backdrop. For our design so I will quickly go to this place and add a subdivision modifier to make it curve if you look at what's happening here now it's quite much more curve so let's push this down so that it's flat on the floor and right click on it and smooth shading increase this to 2 okay right click smooth so we'll have something like this so now if you look at what is happening, um, I'll press A, press G and Z to bring this above that line. So if you look at what is happening right now, this object is hanging somehow. I need to be uh, this exact. That's good. So you could select this and add some other material on it. And depend on what you want to go for. So this time around, I want to go for a glass material. I want to show you something here. So the glass material. Now, you won't see the effect of the glass material here until you go into this place. Select this. So it's going to load. And turn on this too. So you have a sort of glass material here. So, but we're not going to see the full effect of it in this particular view until we enter the render view. So, uh, I will prefer to change this from a glass to, I want it to be a metallic surface because I think that would be better for this our background. So, I'm going to make it, uh, let's see, uh, turn the light in color. I think we believe it should be good. Okay, so we'll have something like this and I'm going to increase the metallic part of it so you can look at what's happening in the background and reduce so I'm going to reduce the roughness a bit if you reduce the roughness very much it will become very very shiny so you have something like this so I would like to remove the slides okay so we'll have this you know so if you look at what is happening the the rough the roughness is making it very very shiny so we don't like that so we're just gonna bring it up a bit so 
but I think I'm gonna stop here. So this is basically how to add um, a basic uh, shaders and materials that you can be able to use to change the look of your monitor to make it look better. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to add textures and how to wrap textures around a particular object.